We work very hard in the periods we're working. Really hard, actually. Uh, you've played some uh, big European festivals uh, the past couple of weeks, and there are a lot more shows coming. Uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the in, in the future uh, until 2011, yeah. there are plans. Um, uh, one of the reasons, what you called earlier, that uh, that was too hectic uh, in the past. How 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 do you going to uh, yeah not fall in the same trap? Uh, like I think we're, we're aware of it a lot more. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're very much aware of the reasons why we split up. Um, and, and we prioritise the, the, the breaths in now. You know, we, we, do, we do a big batch of work and then it's like, okay, we need to have a little time off here just so we can take care of our personal lives. Yeah. And, then, and then, so we work very hard in the periods we're really working in. Really hard, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like this summer we're doing some 36 festivals. Yeah. And then after that, in November, we're doing a British tour, and then the, the, there's Christmas, and then we're back out again in February doing the European tour. So, yeah. but we just make sure that we we have the time off, whereas before we didn't actually make sure of that. Okay. Yeah, you know, we put in time in the schedule for things like sleep and, <laughs> and eating. Yeah. I mean, it's, you, yeah, you yeah. laugh, yeah. but you know, we did a, a festivals in our first year. And on average, we were getting two to three hours sleep a night mm. and not getting fed, you know? And these things really wear you down. So now, we did simple things like that, you know? Like sleeping and eating and having a shower um, and having our own tour bus with the band just make the whole experience completely different. Yeah. Um, and those are the lessons that we learned, really, yeah. that you just got to look after yourself a lot more yeah. on tour because our gigs are ferocious, you know? It's like we give 100%, you know, of there's nothing left when we come off stage. And we do that every single time we play. Um, and people can feel it, but the toll, that takes its toll on us. We know why we, that we got worn out before and we, and we overdid it, you know. So now, yeah, we, we give 100%. We're extremely fit, you know. Um, and we come off stage and we have some time to relax and normalize. And we eat really well now and we work out. And, you know, we just, we just look after ourselves a lot more. We still have a lot of fun. We still drink. <laughs> you know, there's no drugs in our band, but you know, we. Uh, no, I don't need them. We still. Um, but we drink. We still drink. <laughs> not that know. much, though, not that much. Yeah, mm. on occasion. On occasion. On occasion we <laughs> so we still have fun, that. you know, yeah. but I think we just. We, we're very, we, we know how we got worn out last time and we're not going to repeat it. Yeah. How did your, your surroundings respond when they heard about uh, yeah, you reuniting? Do you know what? We've had a really, really, really positive... I yeah. haven't heard one single negative comment about Skunk and Nancy before me. Well, they wouldn't I don't dare. Know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, even my mum's happy. My mum and dad are really happy oh, about wicked. it. My mum's so really happy, yeah. too. And, and that, she always hated the fact that I was Skunk and Nancy. <laughs> you know, and, you yeah. know. So, I mean, the only way to make my mum more happy is to grow my hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and <laughs> Then she'd just be, like, made up. And so, I, I, you know, it's like everybody kind of felt that around me that that was my home and that's where I should be. Um, I love doing the solo stuff. It's great and I can do it again. You know, it's not going to disappear. Yeah, it's not over, is but, uh, it? But it's nice to be able to concentrate on Skunk and Nancy and get up and run it, running. And the fans have been amazing. I mean, just absolutely humbling, Lisa. And like Pink Pop, we played at Pink Pop. The crowd was incredible. Mm. And so um, that's really nice for us because we know it's not like that with some of the other comebacks. You know, and I, but I think that people can feel the honesty in what we're doing and the realness of what we're doing and the reasons why we're doing it. You know, it's not a nostalgic thing. It's not a big money-making thing. We just want to be a band again, and that's it. Hmm. What did you miss the most about being in a band when you did your solo? It's yeah. cheek. <laughs> it's cheeky. Yeah, cheeky. No. Very, very lippy, yeah. Too much of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. We have, we have fun. We enjoy ourselves. We like each other's company. I miss the laughter. That's mm. what it was, because we laugh a lot as a band. And that's really, that's really important, you know? Because that's a very healing thing to do for yourself and for everyone around you. Yeah, I mean, being a solo artist is like, it's like an A shape, mm. you know? And it's kind of like, I'm at the top of the tree and everybody else is kind of like... Paid to be there. Paid to be there, you know? Yeah. Whereas in bands, it's like, you know, we're all on the same level. If I do something wrong, well, he's going to give me lip. <laughs> but if it isn't so yeah, I'm not paid to be here. You see, I'm here because I want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> do you want a fiver? I love one, darling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, last question. Uh, now, there's a new album uh, 
going to be released in September, but uh, does it mean that there, there is going to be yeah, uh, yeah, a more of a skunk and Nancy mood for all of you the, 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 the in the future years and not playing uh, any solo projects, or is it something uh, that will no, have to change? No, definitely not. I mean, I, there's, I've, I'm already planning a, a, a new band that I've got kind of in the, you know, the, the uh, hands are rubbing over the cauldron as we speak. Mm. I mean, all the members of the band, we all got like lots of interesting things that we've been doing over the last nine years that um, it's nice to perhaps go and Nancy, but you know, it's also nice <coughs> to have a private life, a personal life. Mm. And it's also nice to, to, to have other it's interests yes, and other important. projects that we've built up over the nine years. Mm. Um, I mean, I had two solo albums out, but Cass is running a studio rehearsals room. He works with disadvantaged kids. You know, it's not something he wants to give up, you know? Um, Ace has produced only over 40 albums for like new uh, and up-and-coming bands. Mm. And um, Mark, you know, he was in feeder, but he loves motor, like uh, motor racing. Mm. And he does like, a, you know, he, he's ridden across India for his charity. And, you know, he has, um, like me and Mark are both kind of DJing as well. So there's lots of other things that we're doing, but I think it's also important that, you know, we want to have personal lives as well. And that's very difficult when Skunk and is always on tour. So no one in the band wants to just be tour monkeys anymore. Mm. Um, you know, we want to have it all. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Cool. Pleasure.